many times you will want to stitch in the ditch around a design or you would like to stitch the ditch of just say an area of your quilt. So in this video, I'll show you how to do both of those. This stitch in the ditch only works in Select and Sew and Quilt CAD. So I'm going to show it to you in Select and Sew first. And let's just select a pattern. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, and so here is my screen. Right now, I've, I'm planning to sew this beanie on my screen. And I want to position it, just say somewhere on my quilt. Let's say every other block, I'm going to put the beanie. Okay, so I'm going to move my machine over to the area where I would like the beanie to fit. And then I need to place the beanie over there. Okay, so this is over a certain block in my quilt. Well, the only way to make stitch in the ditch work is if you actually define a ditch. And right now, I have this design set to uh, be placed in the center. So you've got to come down here to the placement methods and select one that will work with the ditch. And notice, as I'm changing these all the way over to the right, you've got pattern and markings. Now watch that area when I select block. See, now we have the ditch option. So I'm going to select four points for right now. And I'm going to come over here and say this is my left point. This is going to be my right top. And this is going to be my right bottom. Oops. Well, let me go back. Let me get that pattern again. I'm in simulation mode, so things are a little bit different. Okay, so my top left, this is going to be my right, my top right. This is going to be my bottom right and my bottom left. And see, my block may be a little bit wonky. Well, right now, the green line indicates the outline of my pattern. So if you come over here, to pattern, everything you have selected is going to stitch. So pattern I want to stitch, ditch I also want to stitch, and you can select quilt, and now when you go to sew, see the line? That means that this is going to stitch my beanie pattern and also a ditch around it. Now let's say you're, you're squares are not exactly straight okay and you need to move this in a little bit you can come up to plugins select fabric compensation and notice how the top line is dark green I'm gonna come down here and click next so you can see it a little bit better now the right line is green okay so the right line indicates where my um, my stitching is going to be in the ditch. Well, what you'll do is just move your machine down, and this arrow represents my machine, and let's say my my ditch comes to all the way over here. So you put your machine there and click the plus, and then you just keep going down, moving your machine, and plus, and plus, and you move your line to exactly where it is on your machine. And now when I stitch, it's going to stitch out on this line, not a straight line from here to here as it was before. It's going to stitch exactly where I put these nodes. Okay, so I'm going to click Cancel to go back and go back once again. Now let's say you don't want to stitch those ditch markings. You just take this off, this check mark on ditch, go to Quilt, and now you see it's only going to stitch the beanie. Okay, and let's see, I want to show you another one. I recently was doing a wedding ring quilt, and I wanted to stitch around the edges. So, let's go, um, I'm going to select another pattern here. Well, actually, I can just leave it at the beanie, because it really doesn't matter what my pattern is. But what I'm going to do is come up here to plugins marking tool and now I'm going to come on to my quilt 
and make markings exactly where my quilt is or where my lines are. So my first one would be, let's say it's right here. I'm going to mark the inside of my wedding ring. So I add a mark. I move my machine a little bit more and add, add. So you're just moving and adding until you get your quilt uh, or your area defined. Now remember, this could be any area. It doesn't have to be a, a double wedding ring or anything. It could be a circle or any, any kind of area that you want to stitch. And you just want to stitch a, a single stitch around it. Okay, and then let's say I want another one here. And I'm just going to do this fast. These, these are not exact, but you kind of get the idea. This is the inside of a wedding ring quilt. And then I would come up. And what you're doing actually um, is, I'm actually would be moving my machine along the exact lines that are on my quilt. If you have one that you want to change, um, like I, let's say I did one right here and that's wrong, my machine moved, you can do remove last and it'll take that last one away. You can do remove all and they'll all be removed. So let's end it right here. So just pretend <laughs> that this is a, the inside of my wedding ring quilt. And of course mine would hopefully look a lot better. So come over here to the side, select, unselect pattern because I don't want this pattern to stitch this beanie. But I do, I do not want my ditch to stitch either, but I do want my markings to stitch. Those are the brown marks that I just made. So when you select quilt, there's your marks right there. So you can define any point on your quilt, a circle, square, any shape at all, at just by moving your machine and clicking add mark and then telling your machine to click to stitch only your marks. If you, at this point, you feel like a mark is a little bit off, you can also come to Fabric Compensation, and you can select, see the, um, the top arrow, or I'm sorry, the top line is dark green. So let's say I felt like this was a little more in. I could position my cursor right there and select the Add button here, and notice how it moved my brown mark down a little bit. Um, so these are options, too, that you can use. But mostly you will, um, now we're ready to sew the design, but mostly you would just mark in this screen, select Markings only, and then Quilt.